Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your survey thank you page within your Salesforce survey. The first thing that you'll need to do is if you don't already have surveys enabled, you'll need to go over here into the setup just with the gear icon and then in the quick find search for surveys and enable surveys for your org. Once that is done, you'll go over here to the three by three and then we'll search for surveys. All right, I'm gonna enter or create a new survey here and that'll take us to the survey builder. I'm gonna label this a customer satisfaction survey and then click continue. All right, here we are now in a survey builder. We have a welcome page, which I will link a playlist or try to link a playlist down below of all my survey videos that I have done. Welcome page should be on there, but let's go ahead and jump into the thank you page down here and we can start writing our thank you message. It's really important that you kind of in your thank you message really say thank you, we appreciate your feedback, and then give them any further instructions that they might need to use. So let's say you are giving them in, or you're entering them into a drawing for a gift card. Let them know when the drawing will be or let them know if anyone will be reaching out. I'm going to say thank you for taking our survey. We really appreciate your feedback. The gift card winner will be contacted via email. So I think that's pretty good. As far as changing up the text here, what we can do is we can change the, the font. We can change the size of the font if we want this to be bigger or smaller. We can add italics, uh, underline, strike through, bullets, uh, points, and then change up a bunch of different things within our text. It's pretty standard and simple word editing tools that you see here. Um, but let's go ahead and go over to the branding tab and we can change stuff. I do want to add a progress bar, an auto progress bar, because I find that really helpful for survey retention. Other things that we can do is we can change the background image. We could remove it or we could upload our own file just to be more on brand with our company brand. We can change the opacity of this image. So I guess making it more see-through or not. Um, and then as well as we can change the image blur if we don't want it to be so in your face. This is pretty a calming background, but let's say we wanted to have it be a background color rather than an image. We could remove that image and then change the background color here. Let's say our company logo or company color is going to be red. So I'm going to change that to red. We could upload a logo here and change the alignment as well as opacity and then background color. We can also change the buttons. This currently does not have a button on it, but if we wanted to change like the previous button, next button, pause and finish button, then we would be able to change those labels just to make it maybe a little bit more familiar or comfortable. So instead of like a next button, you could say next question or next slide or whatever. Then you can change the content card as well as the question text color, answer choice and choices text color, uh, button colors and then all the other button colors. But customizing the thank you page, there aren't too many buttons, there's not too many questions. So it's pretty, pretty simple to customize it and pretty easy to make it work for your survey. If this is the end of your survey building, then you will need to uh, save this and then go ahead and activate this in order to send it out to your customers. So just be aware of that. And it is fairly similar to flows where if you need to deactivate it, you will need to create a new version of the survey and then edit that. You cannot go back and edit the previous version, so you do have to create a new version. With that being said, I hope that you found this video helpful. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe, connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.